Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I just want to do a quick little video. Um, it's not necessarily really backpacking related, but it is close. Um, uh, but anyway, I just want to do a little unboxing video. I recently placed an order on Amazon the other day for uh, a couple of things, and they came in the mail today, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I just wanted to kind of do an unboxing and share it with you. And uh, just to let you know, um, this is knife stuff. Um, not real expensive knives or anything like that. It came from Amazon. Um, but anyway, here recently I've kind of gotten into uh, some knives. I've kind of enjoyed buying a couple of knives. I got a Benchmade Victilian a little while back. Uh, and then more recently I got this uh, Spyderco Delica. Uh, not Delica. Uh, Spyderco Tenacious. And I've been using it. And I really like it. So, um, I don't know. I recently got a few more dollars and I placed an order for a couple other things. So I just want to do a quick unboxing. And uh, just so you know, this is really a, uh, a box of Spyderco stuff. Um, so, I'll start right here. This is the Spyderco Sharp Maker. I hope you can see that. Anyway, let me set this down here. This is the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Uh, as I said, I have been getting a few more knives. Um, picking up really just everyday carry, not really for backpacking use or anything like that. Um, but I figure if I'm going to get a few knives, I need to get something to sharpen them with. And I'll just go ahead and say I would really love to get the Wicked Edge um, sharpening system. After watching Smoke Eater 908's videos, I'm just like, wow, that's super awesome and I would love to get it. But it's a little pricey and for right, right now I can't really afford it. So um, these were also highly recommended, these uh, Spyderco Sharp Makers. So I figured I'd pick one up because they were a little more affordable. They're about $99, I think, retail, but I got mine for about $53, I think, on Amazon. So they're uh, pretty inexpensive. And it comes with, uh, it comes with a coarse and a fine uh, sharpening stone. Uh, it comes with a CD, tells you how to do everything. And then, of course, the case. And then it's got a 30 degree and a 40 degree um, bevel that you sharpen them on. And I believe, I cannot remember. I'm going to have to look at these a little more, but um, I'm wanting to say the spider, I can't remember which one, I have to look into it. But anyway, uh, I got this so I could go ahead and just kind of start maintaining my knives just a little bit until I can't afford the uh, Wicked Edge system, because eventually um, I would like to get it. But anyway, uh, the Spider Edge, or Spider Edge, the Spider Co. Sharp Maker, I got that. And to go along with it, I went ahead and picked up a set of the uh, Ultra Fine Triangle Stones. Um, now they have, I think, some diamond stones or something like that, but they're like 50 bucks, almost 40 bucks, something like that. These were only, uh, um, well, you know, I say these, and it looks like there's just one in the box. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it just comes with one or what, but uh, I'll have to look into that. There's only one stone there. I guess it just comes with one. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is the Ultra Fine Stone, and this will just help... Uh, do a little bit better than the uh, the fine stone that comes with it. And I am going to look into that because that worries me now. I wonder if this is supposed to come with two stones because it's just one. So, these are two stones. Anyway, I'll check that out. And then last is another Spyderco knife. Um, now this, um, this is the Delica 4. Um, and you can find these for pretty inexpensive. So I picked this up. I, I would really like to get the paramilitary too, but it's uh, around $100, $110, something like that. So I went ahead and got the Delica 4 because um, it's got a little bit better steel than this. This has the uh, 8CR13 MOV steel on the Tenacious. Uh, but I've really come to like this knife as I've been carrying it the last couple of weeks. I, I really like it. But as I said, I'll go ahead and pick this up. So this is the uh, Delica 4. Um, it comes with VG10. It's a little bit, a little stiffer than the, wore that one in. Let's see the size there. Delica 4 is a little bit smaller. Um, a few differences, let's see here. Um, so I guess that's a 13 millimeter hole on my uh, Tenacious. Anyway, um, I believe this is a leaf shaped blade again. It has VG10 steel and it's a full flat grind. Um, it's a bit thinner than my Tenacious. Of course, overall, it's a little bit smaller than my Tenacious. And I do believe a lot of backpackers do actually use these um, for their uh, backpacking knife because they're supposed to be like 2.3 ounces. I, I'll have to weigh it on my scale. 
Um, but anyway, it's VG10 steel. It's a bit sharper than, or not a bit sharper, it's a bit better steel than the HCR13 MOV, if I can say it right. Um, but anyway, it's pretty much the same shape and everything. Um, the handles on this one is actually uh, FRN, which is fiber, fiberglass, resin, nylon, or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, but anyway, and then it's got what's called a bi-directional grip. Um, so, I don't know, it's just supposed to help grip a little bit better. It does have some jimping on the spine, and uh, it's actually, well, it's a little different. You can get behind it just a little bit better, I think, than you can on the Tenacious, but you can still get behind it really on the Tenacious. Um, it's supposed to have dual scent of uh, skeletonized steel liners inside it. Of course, they're uh, skeletonized to make the knife weigh a little bit less. It's got a back lock on it. I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's got a name. I can't remember. Boiled dent lock or something like that. Um, but anyway, so it's a little bit different closure than the uh, liner lock that's on there. That's a little bit tight. It's got a phosphor bronze washer in it, which is supposed to help uh, the knife open up a little bit smooth. Looks like the blade is set pretty straight in the middle. It's pretty nice. Um, it doesn't have the backing here, of course, because of the way it locks, it can't. But the backing here is all, uh, you know, you can go right through that, that handle. You can see right through it. Uh, might make it a little bit easier to clean. This one's a little bit different. You can't do that. So if anything gets down in there, it'll be a little more difficult to clean, I imagine. It feels pretty sharp. It's, uh, yeah, it's shaving hair, just like my other one did right out of the box. Um, it looks like this one's got a little bit of a, instead of coming straight down the way that one does, well, that one may have a little bit. It looks like there's actually like a little hump right there in the end, so that's interesting. But anyway, uh, this is my Spider Coat stuff. Uh, oh yeah, and of course this one you can move the, uh, um, the clip, you can have it to where you can uh, put it left or right or tip up, tip down. And I'm going to leave it in the uh, tip up uh, fashion. That's the way I've been carrying my other knife, so uh, I'm going to leave it that way. Um, one thing, I like how this one, how the blade, it actually comes all the way down to the back. That one, it doesn't really do it. The blade just kind of stops there. It's a little different. Um, it's got a little lanyard hole on it, of course. Um, pretty nice little knife, though, I guess. Looking forward to carrying it around. I'm going to carry this one now for a few days and see how I like it. Um, I really like my Tenacious, though. I've got a lot of good things to say about it because it's so light. Uh, not light, but it's just an inexpensive knife, and it's big. It fits in my hand. It's comfortable. This one's just a little bit smaller. But anyway, that's my Spider Co stuff. Uh, those are some instructions and stuff. Basically, just talking about the, uh, the knife. So, anyway, that's my Spider Co stuff. I just wanted to share that unboxing. And, uh, alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.